got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, wavy when I turn it on. All through my city, all through my home. We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that. Well, a very good afternoon, Ventura. Welcome to TV Ventura with myself, Alex, your entertainment manager, and... Abby, your assistant entertainment manager. Hello, Abby. How are you doing today? I'm all right. How are you today? I'm happy the fact the ship's not moving as much. It is, isn't it? It's uh, Like I said, you stayed off track a little bit, calmed it down, and by 12 o'clock last night, we were fine. We were fine. We were fine, weren't we? We were, yes. I mean, it was quite hard work in the office yesterday because where our office is, we face straight towards the front of the ship. And obviously, being an office, we have to have wheelie chairs. So we were constantly holding onto our desk as the chairs were moving us away. It was quite fun, actually. We lost a chair at one point. The door was open and it just flew straight out. And I was like, it's, it's gone. That's it, it's done. It was a good so, little day yesterday. And a a great was, evening for entertainment as well. A great evening. It was a... Um, Gareth. Gareth, I did... Oh, you did you see the end? Oh, he's you very just good. You can't beat it, can you? You can't. And then obviously you had uh, Paul Hughes in the middle. Amazing vocals. I can't wait for his next show. He was great. I, w I watched his second show and he was uh, he's just got such character on stage, hasn't he? And he's so effortless. That's what's annoying. Like When you look at a singer, you always want to sit there and watch them sweat a little bit to like, feel like they, they've done it. Paul just sort of went, yeah, I'll sing you another song. You're like, what? How? And it's the, the voice that comes out, you just... Ugh. Do you know I would pay to see him in Vegas? You would... Uh, I'd pay to see him at any point in time, yeah, anywhere. I'd he, travel to see him. I would travel as well. He's uh, just great. And then down here, Nia King, with oh, a tribute well to Whitney Houston. I cried. I'm not going to lie. I had to go and redo my makeup. I don't think anyone would think that you'd lie. You'd tell us everything. I was very emotional. <laughs> oh, yeah, again, another amazing show down here. It, it's just a pleasure having yes, all of them. We've got and, so uh, much. Talking of that, we've uh, talked about the evening entertainment, but that links us nice and simply in with our daytime entertainment. Daytime, yes. So we've got quite a few guests today, don't we? We do have a few guests because... But, because well, like, well, it's, it's our, we're not doing one for a little while, are we? I know, what if I like, what if I forget what we're doing and everything? What if I say something I'm not meant to say? It'll be like any other episode of TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we haven't mentioned it here, we have a, a live audience Yeah, Live audience, give us a cheer. Hello. Hello. Again, uh, it, it sounds quiet because uh, obviously it's the microphone, but this is a packed audience. Packed. You wouldn't believe how many people are here. Again, due to the weather calming down, people have flocked inside just for TV. This is the talking point of the ship. It is. So. <laughs> it is. We're, um, just, we're just so, you know, I don't know what it is. I don't know. See, since you said you didn't want people coming in, people now want to come in. Is I that know, supply I'm still and getting you want to If you could only feel me hands through the TV, honestly, they're a little bit, I get a bit nervous, don't I? I feel. A bit, bit clammy. <laughs> Lovely. Um, it's Easter Saturday before we do anything. It, it is Easter Saturday, and which means tomorrow is Easter Sunday. It is. Have um, you got us an Easter egg? No. Madeira, uh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Get to a supermarket. I'll see what I can. I don't know if uh, the Portuguese are famous for Easter eggs, but we'll see what we can do. If not, I'll, I'll buy you a real egg. Um, and with that, you did promise that we, uh, we would do... I did promise. So yesterday I went, oh, we should get bunny rabbit ears. Alex, go behind your back. Look what we got. Yay! Put them on. Yes, boss. I'm taking my hair out. <sighs> I have an overwhel overwhelming feeling for carrots now. I don't know why. <laughs> Someone run to the buffet and get a carrot. Get a carrot. So there we go, Easter. And with that in mind, Easter, we've ate, so we've got the Easter eggs, Easter hunt. The Easter hunt yesterday went great, didn't it? I was doing line dancing, they were all sneaking around. Looking for the Easter eggs. Of course, uh, the youth department are giving out Easter eggs for the children on board as well. Yeah. So uh, we've got lots of stuff happening mm -hmm. as we speak. But as I said, daytime entertainment. Sorry. Let's move on to our first guest. Now, our first guest is our craft instructor on board. Very popular. So popular, even with the rocky weather up on deck 18. Jam-packed class, 30 people yesterday afternoon. I heard. I um, heard. And so it gives me great pleasure to welcome our craft instructor on board. It's Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Microphone's behind you. <laughs> yes. There we go. All good. Talk <gasps> to me. Lovely. Well, thank you for inviting me on board. It was an exciting invitation as it came 24 hours before the ship sailed. It wasn't yeah. even 24 hours. It wasn't, I mean, no. It, you wouldn't believe it. So, um, 
Well, so Southampton turned around here. Alex, because we, we got in and Alex went to get you and I'm just going to get my hair cut. I'm running ashore for an hour and all heaven, sorry, all hell broke loose, didn't it? It's got a- emails, Abby, this is happening. I went, Alex, what should so we do? It was quite enjoyable. So as Abby's sending me this uh, message, I want to look quite good for the first day. So uh, I went for a, a hot shave. So at the moment in time, Abby <laughs> told me, uh, I had a towel wrapped around my head. Uh, so I'm on loudspeaker to a hairdresser as we're trying to fix... Uh, the fact that we didn't have our art instructor that was, uh, was unfortunately ill on that day, the day before they were meant to come on board. So we went, what are we going to do? Um, and I was like, well, can, I, well, can we get anything, craft, art, something that, that way we can at least give yeah. people something? And the saviour jumped on in and uh, Jennifer answered the call and then that way. Um, so with less than 24 hours to obviously get you on here, how, uh, how quick was the turnaround? How prepared were you for... Alex, I have to say, it was one of those challenges. I've never in my life been given a challenge. It was like Challenge Annika. And it was, can I find enough craft kits ready that are left from the last cruise I did and enough clean clothes in less than 24 hours to come on the beautiful Ventura? And I went, yes, go for it. See if you can do it. Now, the handicap is that this is a two-person job. Normally, my sister and I do the craft together, and we love it. My sister's away. She's not in England to come and help. So I thought, can I do it on my own? And then um, I got promised some extra help. So yes, I said I would do it. So, And I'd also like to say at this point, I have had the most amazing help within the class. I have got young boys who at school have been learning some of the crafts, helping other people. I've been demonstrating techniques and the people opposite are learning and helping their neighbours. So although I am a little short-staffed, I have had fabulous people come and they honestly deserve credit for putting up with a busy room and just one of me to help them. Oh, it sounds like you've got a nice community up there. Lovely, lovely. The craft family. The craft family. The craft family. Oh, I like that. Well, can I tell you a bit of feedback I got today? You Someone can, yeah. said, I actually only came up for a coffee in Metropolis, and I came over to see what you were doing, and you're making beautiful stuff. So I don't know what people think craft is, but I wanted to bring and show you some of the things we're making, if I'm that's okay. Absolutely. So um, right. show us some of this beautiful stuff you're making. Wow. This is, I don't know if you, how well you can see it against the curtain, is called a rainbow light catcher. And well, hung up in the sunshine, it sends rainbows around the room. And that's the next project we're going to be making. That's but nice. the reason for learning to make this is because it then goes in to teaching you how to repair your own jewellery if something's broken at home. That's very weighty. It's I mean, solid crystal, oh, wow. and that's why it throws off the prisms. For people who don't want something quite as large, I've also got a more delicate one. Oh, very nice. Mine's so we're going to have a choice, and this is the next sea day. So anybody who hasn't had a chance to come, please, that's what we're doing. So, so you put those on the, the next table. Seating. I can um, s- just obviously, there's um, a small fee that covers this, but for a real crystal thing like that, including the hours class, how much is the price for one of these kits? So what I was able to do was actually buy wholesale. So it means I've passed my savings on. And so whereas in a shop you would find these at about £15 each, I'm doing one for eight and three for 20 Oh, wow. And, so, and obviously, you get to the personal, uh, personal side that you get to make yeah. it yourself, so you it's very to personal to you. Oh, um, absolutely. Do you know what? They're great for Christmas as well, in presents. And when you go on a cruise, people always what you get, ship magnets. They're lovely. But this is really personal to someone. I mean, it's, it's no. just thoughtful. It, absolutely, Abby, and I'd be delighted to donate one to your office, although it will turn into a disco in the sunshine. So <laughs> I just promise you that. <laughs> is that okay, boss? Can we have a disco light in our office? When you put it like that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, having learnt, which they'll do on the next day, this technique, that moves us on to the project I'll be doing on our way back. I shouldn't say home, but back to Southampton. And this is a real pearl necklace made with the same techniques, but featuring freshwater pearls. Absolutely beautiful on the magnetic clasp. Again, I'm sorry if I'm saying a lot, I never got a short time, but everybody makes them to measure. So whatever your tiny, middle or large, we'll make it to fit you. There's nothing quite like a personal pearl necklace. There's not at all. Can I please try this on? You certainly can. It's just yeah. unclip the magnet. Of course I can. Can you help? Can you help give me a pearl necklace? <gasps> <sighs> I 
Alex, I think I've changed my mind. I don't want a bag now. I think I want, want one of these <laughs> for when I leave. I'm sure we can organise that for you. Do you know what? This oh. makes us feel like I'm getting married. Do you know when you get married, you wear pearls? Okay, strange question, Abby. Are you allowed to wear jewellery with your uniform? We, it, it has to be, what's the word? Very um, discreet. simple, discreet, yes. yes. In so the evening, turns, you're allowed to. In the evening, yeah, I always wear jewellery, but um, this is beautiful. In fact, I met you on Ariana, it would have been four years ago, and um, you made me some earrings, and they're still in my, per my bag upstairs. Did you ever wear them? Yeah, <laughs> the little blue ones. Oh, they were beautiful, and I just love them. And, and it's just, and do you know what people say? Oh, craft. My mum, we've all moved out of my mum's house, and she's now got a craft room, and she's so happy. She makes, like, envelopes, she makes cards now, and she's just, she loves it, because mm. she, it, it's just, it's very calming, isn't it? That's what we try. And I think that's why we've got such a lovely atmosphere up in Metropolis, because people come along with an open mind, willingness to sort of wait, share and chat. And that's the final one we're still going to make. So that's... Wow. And look at that. If you've time, a matching bracelet. So that's what we're doing. So you can see it's high quality craft that we're doing. And so with this, um, as you said, the matching bracelet, you said you do packs uh, of one or three. So could they then get the necklace and the bracelet, maybe two bracelets for that package? So the package price for £20 would be a bracelet and a necklace together. And I'd certainly do that one for you. I'd do anything for you, Alex. Oh, thank you. Do you, and do you know what? I feel we, like QVC. Do you, want to, and you know what? <laughs> Your new job. Can I please have one? <laughs> and you can wear this with anything to any occasion. <laughs> You are now my able assistant. I will let my sister know that she's been sacked. <laughs> I will any time, Jennifer, honestly, because I think you're absolutely brilliant. So I will, I will come oh, be your assistant you. any time. Oh, well, it's lovely. Well, I wanted to have a chance to show what we're making because I think sometimes people see craft and they don't really understand the range of things that are available. Amazing. So just quickly, down the camera, uh, when are your craft classes? When's your next one? And... What is the next class? The next class is the Rainbow Light Catcher. They take place twice a day, morning and afternoon. You can come to either or, or some people are coming to both. They start at 10.30 or 2.30, and they run until you finish doing your project or someone comes and takes you away for food. So you are all welcome, and it's every sea day. Wonderful. So we've got uh, a few sea days coming up on the way back. And uh, I think you're modelling another one of your products round your oh, neck. We've made this one already, but there are a few kits left. If somebody, I promise I lose my lanyard, you see. So I have to have it attached around my neck. That's how I get to my cabin. <laughs> and this is one of the projects that we've already made, but there are a few left if someone wants to catch up. So if you do see someone around the ship and you're wondering where it came from, Jennifer's class is the place. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Jennifer, for coming on today's oh, TV Adventure. Uh, we'll let you take your things. Um, can, can, uh, we'll I have come, to take we'll, the necklace off now. Uh, oh. You can, can have it on for the rest of the, the show, show, like QVC. Thank you very much. That's what I would like. And Abby, I heard you yesterday on TV talking about eggs. So yeah. there was one on my pillow last night, so I brought it for you. Oh. It, it's not the biggest. I got an egg. Oh, thank you I very you much. Might like it. oh. It's like bribery here. I love it. I love it. Oh, and what are you doing next, Cruz? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for asking me. Nice to meet you both. Oh, thank Ladies you, Jennifer. Jennifer. I love it. You do suit a pearl necklace. I, I love it. Look, I love it. I want to get married. Um. No, because pearls, people wear pearls at the wedding, don't they? Well, I read the wax, you read, because I was engaged, wasn't I, for a long time, and I'm not now. It's not, we're still friends. N not bad. Um, and apparently you can't wear white to your wedding. It's bad luck. Is this true? You can't wear white to your own wedding? Yeah. You're supposed to wear, like, an off-white or an off-ivory or, like, an, you know... Ladies and gentlemen, if you have the answer to this question, please see Abby, because um, otherwise she'll be spending all night worrying if she's allowed to wear white or not to her wedding. Well, then I thought but I'll wear black because it's thinner. You know, I'm going to wear a black wedding dress because I really want to be thinner in my wedding. So, yeah, I'm going to Google it when we finish, actually. Anyway, sorry, I'm going completely off topic, Alex. And this nicely links on to our next guest. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Abby. So uh, our next guest is from our Dixon Travel on board. Now, you cannot have missed it as you walk through the ship. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Kieran. Yes. Uh, Sit wherever you want. I won't hi. take it personal. Hi, Kieran. How are you today? 
Are you okay? Good. Um, now, Dixons, we love Dixons. We love you, though, because you're fab. Like, if you ever, if you ever just want to chat to Kieran, Kieran's lovely, aren't you? You talk to everyone. In fact, I think you should give Kieran a cuddle every time you see him. <laughs> Just like all of our guest tents that come on this, any, any guests we get on the show, I always say, get a cuddle off them, don't I? This is very true, yeah. <laughs> Thanks again, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, cuddling often has a lot to do with electronics on board. So, Kieran, talk us through uh, Dixon Travel on board, what are the perks and all that sort of stuff, and why it is so amazing to have you on board. So, back on August 11th, we actually joined the uh, Ventura for a seven-month trial. After uh, seven months, which was just before this dry dock, we uh, have been told that we are now going to become a permanent fixture on board here. So, as you can see out there now, is our brand new store. So, we've done an unveiling at the start of this cruise to uh, welcome our brand new shop. And we have uh, fantastic products on board, such as iPads, laptops, mobile phones, smart fitness like your Fitbits, uh, speakers, headphones, anything electronic really. So uh, before we jump onto some of the goodies that you've brought here, you um, said obviously you've got these iPhones, tablets, all sorts of uh, electronic devices. Now, the British people love a bargain. What yep. sort of bargains do you have on board that makes it so worthwhile buying it from you? So all our hardware, so such as uh, laptops, tablets, mobile phones, speakers, any of the headphones over the 100 pound mark, any cameras, camcorders, Pretty much any of our hardware aspect of things, we actually have a price promise, and that price promise says we will not be beaten in price by Amazon Direct if it's sold and dispatched by them directly, John Lewis, Argos, and Jessops. If you find it cheaper, what we do is we check with our uh, airport store and just see whether the price has moved. If it has, we'll give you that lower cost. If not, we will actually give you double the difference. Wow. That's like a task in itself. Wow. So, uh, best in two now for the guests. Go have a look at what you have to offer. Find the price, and then we've got a couple of port days coming up. So then that That's way, it. Google it, realise that you've got the savings, and then save the money on board, because no matter what happens, Precisely, you're yes. going to have a great deal. Yeah, we can save you a lot of money at times. Uh, we've got some products which will save you over £300, which are things like MacBooks. So we can save you an awful lot of money depending on what you may be looking for. That's amazing. So for those people that forgot to buy an Easter egg, buy an iPad instead. <laughs> can I change my thing now? I don't want, I want an iPad. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned the Apple, because we've just come out of Dry Dock, which is where the ship the, goes. The refit. Dry, the refit, yeah. And um, walking past, I was talking about Apple, because we all, we all have Apple products. Apple is just everywhere, isn't it? Apple, Apple, yeah. Apple. And um, I'd said, oh, I need a new MacBook Pro. It's a thousand pounds. I mean, that's a lot of money. You know, it's a good, a good few months of saving, etc. And I said to Kieran, but I don't understand. Why don't I just go to Apple and get it? And you made the very fair point, because you are an Apple you, you're a, the, the thing, the, what's it called? Yeah, we're an Apple, Apple reseller, a so Apple reseller, we, are, yeah. we uh, are authorised to sell on behalf of Apple, and you get your full guarantee from Apple when buying from us as well. And you can set it all up and everything, and it's, it's, it's yep. great, like, it's just great. Right, tell us about your goodies, because I'm very so excited. I brought you a few little goodies. Um, this is one thing that uh, is very popular, and a lot of people don't actually realise it's on the market. <laughs> Um, what you've got there is a USB stick with also a lightning connection. So what that simply means, you can now actually take all your photos off your iPads and your iPhones and actually put it directly onto a USB stick to free up space on your iPad or iPhone without needing the cloud. So it just gives people more storage. That's amazing. That That's good. really good because that, that means yeah, trigger happy people trigger. with their iPhone, like you. Well, how many photos have you got on your phone? 8,200. <laughs> but that's, that's not the point. I've had that iPhone, well, I've had my iPhone now for five years. So it is five, five years. Five days. <laughs> but no, that's amazing. So and you can just plug that in. Don't need to download anything. Uh, you download the app, which is SanDisk. Once you've downloaded the app, it's nice and simple to use and you can transfer all your pictures across. Absolutely amazing. And how much is one of those, just so I know when I get off here? They start from 39.99 for the uh, Apple Ones uh, for 32 gig and they can go anything up to 128 gigs. Amazing. So that almost the same, oh, double the uh, same size as an iPhone, you can uh, then double your memory. Yeah. yeah, and don't get disappointed for those who have also got Android or even got the new USB C connection. Um, we also have all of the ones for that as well. So you can come over and we've got the full range of that. Amazing. What have you got next? I'm loving this. Next one. It's like the best stocking game ever. Uh, you've got your Fitbits. What are you so trying to say? We have the entire range of Fitbits and 
I'm just saying that it would be great for you to uh, monitor how fit you are and uh, see how, how much you need to improve. I'm really interested in this because well, like, I'm always i always on a diet, aren't I? I'm always on a diet. Yeah. So if I put this on, will I get fitter? Well, you've got to do the fitness yourself, but it helps you tell you what you need to do. So it doesn't make us fitter. <laughs> It'll just tell us what I need to do. <laughs> I really need to Google this stuff before we do TV and I don't want <laughs> Right, the beauty so of the Fitbit is quite simple. It also yeah. tells the time. Yeah, that's good. And it tells you how many beats per minute you do. It tells you're not dead. Very good. And um, it says how many steps you've done in a day. Hey, this is good, this. to entertainment sells is clearly not for you. <laughs> and this is from all good retailers. Get one. All right. So, yeah. The Kieran, how about you tell us what this is about? <laughs> The Fitbit, it will actually tell you the time, it will tell you how many steps that you're doing, it will tell you how many calories you've burned, it will tell you the distance that you've walked each day. There's different ranges of models, so if you were to go for the top model, for example, which is the Fitbit Ionic, uh, that one is also waterproof, it's got guided coach sessions, you can even um, put music onto the watch and then listen to your music through Bluetooth headphones. So there's a huge range of different things for the right person out there. That's amazing. Well, wearable tech is becoming more and more popular just with, with all age groups. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I, I offered to buy my mum one for Christmas, and um, the only reason that she talked me out of it was because she said, I, I don't do any exercise, and I, I probably won't. It'll just upset you, so... Well, they've also <laughs> never even brought them out for the kids. They've actually got a Star Wars theme one in the shop as well at the moment. Star Wars doesn't have to be for kids, though, does not it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got small wrists. <laughs> hey, you can always come and try one on. Hmm. I know what I'm doing after this. I know we're going Abby, straight there. You're running the department for That's the afternoon. fine. Oh, I like that. Right, next thing, so, Kieran. Fit, Keep going, because I'm enjoying this game. Can I, can <laughs> I see what I think to? everything is? So, uh, the next one, we've got some binoculars. So, for those people who actually like to do a bit of whale watching or dolphin watching while you're on board the cruise, um, these are the fantastic little things. We've got uh, about five or six different models on board. Nice. So, if you want to uh, get some, which has got uh, very... Um, variants within the zooms we also have that on board so please feel free and come and have a look at those as well yeah you know they're good for as well if you ever go um to, no no don't worry <laughs> <laughs> just see in the face no no um if you go and play in the sea you can look underneath the water for the fishes and stuff can't you and the crabs and you know like you know like our turtles like the caribbean when you find the turtles in the, in the caribbean sea it doesn't matter never mind <laughs> i'm going nowhere with this kieran what's the next thing <laughs> Um, they may be waterproof, but they're certainly not designed for going in the water like that. So all of that for nothing. Do not take them in the water. Go and see the turtles and the fishes with goggles. I tried. God loves a trier. To be fair, yes, I, I often see how goggles and binoculars do get confused. They are quite <laughs> similar products. I'm really clever. <laughs> I know, you keep telling us. Oh. Um, what next have we got? Kieran, please, quickly. <laughs> so, next is a, a little speaker. Now, this is actually phenomenal. The sheer size of this speaker is crazy. How small? And the volume of it is really, really impressive for what it is. So, just for you, I've actually taken one out for you to actually have a look. Look at that. Tiny. And you know what they say? Good things come in small packages, and I'm incredibly short. Yes, they do. And yes, <laughs> it is true. He is incredibly short. That's, so that's Bluetooth? Yes, that's correct. Um, so you just connect via Bluetooth and that will uh, then play all your music through uh, your phone. Built-in charger? Uh, it's so a uh, micro USB charger. on this. And what sort of battery life Can are we looking at? Um, like battery well, it is life, quite heavy, isn't it? I believe it's around about four to five hours, I believe. Forty. Four to, five. four to five hours. That's really good for something that small. When I go to Ibiza and I'm on the plane, I could annoy everyone with one of these. Do you yeah. know that when you do that? Yeah. Now, another little thing which uh, is just a smart little thing for it, you can actually uh, set your phone up on the table over in the corner if you wished, mm -hmm. and you can press the bottom of that there, and that will even take your photo for you. I was just reading that. That's actually amazing. It's like, you know, when you're on a date, and you try and play some nice music, try and make that an ambience, and you just go on your phone, you could just press play, and then the speaker could start, and then you just fall in love, and that is it, all down to this little speaker. See? I'm always thinking ahead. <laughs> Do you know what I love about you, Abby? You think of the part that no one else does. <laughs> I mean, we were just discussing how we would use it as a camera feature, but you, you've taken this to the next level. We're now dating. <laughs> First dates, here we go. I 
should be on the undateables. Right. <laughs> Kieran, how much is that little speaker? Uh, £19.96. I want one of them as well, please. <laughs> For when I'll I leave, you're, you're eight you're days to home. go. I want a present for every day before I go home. So I want the Ted Baker bag. I want an Easter egg. I want a speaker <laughs> and a dance class. You know what <laughs> I want doesn't get. I, my mum always said that I want never gets, no. <coughs> Quickly, what else have we got before so I run out of money? We've also got the uh, new Ultimate Ear speaker. Now, the fantastic thing about this is this is actually drop-proof, waterproof, and it also now has Alexa built into it. So to anybody who likes the Amazon uh, Echo, this is actually a much better speaker with every th all the features of the Alexa built into it. I like Alexa, because when I'm in my house doing my washing or ironing and that no one's there, I always talk to Alexa, because you feel like you've got a friend there, don't you? Alexa, how are you today? I am fine. How can I help you? I just want a friend. Would you like to go on Facebook? No, no. <laughs> it's just like you've got a friend in the house without needing one, isn't it? Alexa, no. You know, there are insights to your life that it just... <laughs> You, you, you're a gift, as I keep saying every day, that keeps on giving. You never cease to amaze me. It is to go. So, as you said, so built-in Alexa, obviously, um, most of the uh, Amazon Echoes, they have to be plugged into the mains. That's correct, But yes. this has got a built-in battery? Correct, yes. Amazing. So that, again, you can take it out on the go. Precisely. You, and uh, waterproof as well. What sort of waterproof are we talking? Uh, what's proof you can drop it in the water in a pool or anything like that and it would still survive can I play music to the turtles pardon can I play music to the turtles it probably wouldn't sound great but you, if you wanted to could you could it. good just check play well songs make some friends you know that sort of thing um, that's amazing so again what sort of price are we looking at for one of these uh, that one is £119.96 p which is roughly the same price as an Amazon Echo if my memory serves me give or take yes. give or take and finally, the thing that I asked you to bring on, because when you told me we have it on board, I got rather excited. Now, this one is all for the ladies, and one that you'll certainly love yourself, Abby. I have one of these, yes. I was on a world cruise last year, and I got this in Dubai. I did, because I just, I looked, there's a hole in it, and the, you, you could put your hand through it, so I, my mind was blowing, blowing, as you can imagine. That is great. So this is the, can, I can actually do this for real now, because I've got one of these. So, Alex, just smile. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone just he's keep gone. on talking he's out so the Dyson Supersonic now this is 300 is it 300 still 300 pounds 299 we are selling it at 279.96 how much I mean I'm raging what I paid 350 for mine um, but it's <laughs> do you know what I, I'm not very good. I haven't done my hair today because I went in the shower last night and I did the one thing you could. I didn't dry my hair before I went to bed I couldn't be bothered though it was one of them nights and I am um, now, for those people who it's are great. thinking that's an awful lot of money for a dryer, it is. However, it's what you've got to bear in mind is this is one where you can guarantee that you're not going to get tangled up in your hair dryer. Secondly, it will not burn your hair. No. So, no. Uh, with the extra heat that uh, a lot of these hair dryers give, this won't give you that issue. And you so, can, you Dyson's can are leading the way within the uh, hair drying industry. They're industry. just great. Honestly, you can turn it down, you can turn it up. You've got different um, nozzle things that you do for different hair things. In fact, tonight, if I have my hair a certain way, I'll do it with my Dyson hair dryer. And it's, it's just fab. And your guarantee with Dyson Correct, is yeah. three years. And I'm not very good with technology, as you can tell today. But with this, I am great. It's just great. It cleans itself. It's got a little thing that comes off. It's got the cold one, the hot one. It's got power middle power, lower power. I, I just love it, honestly. It's the best £300 I've ever spent in my life. And if people want to see the accessories that actually come with it, we do have uh, one open in the store where you can actually see exactly what it comes with. In, in Tonight, have a shower, get your glad rags on, go down and do your hair with this. Make a British queue and all one by one do it. Can we do that, Kieran? You can try. <laughs> <laughs> it's the right answer. Um, we've got a lot about Abby. She'll, uh, she'll sign you up for things you had no idea even were possible. <laughs> so, again, um, with these, it's a first come, first serve. You've only got a few of these on board, don't you? Correct, yes. So, if you are thinking about getting something, a nice present for yourself or someone that you love, it's again, as you said, it's the warranty that's great because hair tries these days, they blow out so quickly. I mean, obviously, you can tell me with my uh, windswept <laughs> hair. Your hair's perfect. You've only Thank just you. had, had it cut, haven't you? You can tell. Yeah. It's shorter. This is also the very first time we've ever had the Dyson hairdryer on the ship. So this is the first cruise we've actually had this on board. So because of it being a bigger store, we've now got a bigger range than what we used to have in the past. So we have many new items, even if you've travelled 
before and seen Dixon's, come and see us because we've gotten many new items now as well. Amazing. So, Christmas. Kieran, thank you so much for coming. I'll keep hold of this. Uh, if you want to take the rest, I will add. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that. Done. <laughs> Worth a shot. So, uh, Kieran, one last time, down the camera, tell us your opening times and the best price match deal. Um, price match deal is on the top end MacBooks where we can save you up to £300. The uh, opening hours is... On a, seat, on a uh, port night, we're open from uh, set, uh, sorry, from half hour after set sail until 11 o'clock at night. On a um, normal day, we're open 9 till 10. Lovely. So go there, have a chat with the guys there. They'll happily do whatever they can for you. Lovely gentlemen, and they've got tester products of all sorts of things. So one more time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Kieran! Um, just one very last Ooh. thing as well, sorry. Um, for those people who don't know, if you've used all your onboard spend and you're entitled to Peninsula Discount, you also get your Peninsula discount on any of the products that you buy in Dixon's as well. Amazing. So Thank definitely you come and see Kieran. As I said, Kieran, you've got to give it back to him. Great. I enjoyed that. Did you? Uh, yes, for different reasons. I really did. I thought it was great. <laughs> really did. Kieran, you can come back. I'll learn more about the products next time. Ne next cruise. I'll, I'll do more research. Right then, Alex. Okay, our final guest. Now, uh, oh, before we move on. I can't reach that. Can you so just right, you can leave it down there. No, no, you just grab them. You promised. <laughs> He's not getting away with it. Back on. Sexy. <laughs> so uh, our final guest this afternoon, Abby, who do we have? So this afternoon we have the beautiful, the gorgeous, our dance instructors on board. It is Honor and Eddie. The crowd went wild. Listen to them. You, you can hear it all the way from the arena. We'll try it again. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, give Honor and Eddie a round of applause. There we go. Nothing like a forced Thank cheer. No, I we like a forced <laughs> cheer. So, Honor, Eddie, um, first off, let's start with uh, where you came from, how it started dancing for the two of you. We'll start with Honor and then go over to Eddie. Hello. Um, so, for me, I started dancing when I was about three or four, uh, but that was mainly in styles like jazz, ballet, tap. I didn't actually start my ballroom dancing until in my mid-teens, just because at the time it wasn't as popular, obviously, as it is now on the mainstream, really. Um, so I did that. And then I went to university and studied English literature, so stopped dancing for a little while. But then the, at Warwick, where I went, they actually had a dance sport team that used to compete against other universities, so I picked it back up again. And then I trained at uh, Central School of Speech and Drama to do musical theatre, because that's what I actually sort of originally intended to do. But obviously my life brought me back to ballroom, so here I am. And I've been doing it ever since then, since um, for about 10 years now. I've been teaching and doing shows and stuff, so yeah. Amazing. And Eddie, what about you? Uh, so I studied dancing when I was nine years old. I competed for 10 years, um, ballroom, Latin, American, smooth, West Coast swing, all of the above. Um, I was a junior British European world champion, five years in a row. Um, I, I, whoo, drop that in there. Uh, and then I went on to dance college after doing a TV show um, called uh, Strictly Dance Fever, if you remember that back in the day. I got to the final 12 of that. And at that point, I'd only been a ballroom dancer and I decided I wanted to go do something else. I wanted to be on stage, I wanted to do something. Um, so I got speaking to Arlene Phillips, who was one of the judges judges, another name drop, sorry, um, and the, the girl who I was actually partnered with on the show um, was doing her degree at the Performing Arts Studio of Scotland. So I went and um, off the back of the show, went and did a degree in dance, um, and then I went to work on ships, so this is actually my 10th year at sea. I did eight years as a dancer, I worked on uh, Royal Caribbean, I was a dance captain on there, I know, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so I, that's, that was w where I went after dance college and I did musicals on there. I was dance captain in Chicago, Saturday Night Fever, I did a contract as an aerial performer. Moved back to London three years ago um, and obviously due to the hype of Strictly and everything, that's where a lot of work was. Didn't know my teaching exams, met Honor and the rest is history. Now we're doing lots of shows and events and ships and we keep ourselves very, very busy. Amazing. So we know where um, you came from. How did you meet? You, said, you touched it briefly. Yeah, we met actually at a salsa masterclass. There's a guy called Richard Marcel who does quite a lot of choreography for Strictly Come Dancing and a few other things. I'd worked with him because I was a professional on the Iranian Strictly Come Dancing and he was involved with that. So, And Eddie met him doing Bring the Noise, which is a sort of MTV Sky One type programme. So we both met. It was a, a, ma a masterclass designed for professional dancers that wanted to learn a, a little bit more advanced salsa and he introduced us and he was like do you two not know each other because you've both done Borum and Latin you've got the same background and we were like no 
And then we just stayed in contact. I had a different dance partner at the time, um, but we just stayed in contact. And then I lost my dance partner. It was all very amicable, though. Don't worry. <laughs> so he, he didn't die. He didn't I lost him. <laughs> Still can't find him. <laughs> He's wandering <laughs> around the ship. Uh, and Eddie was looking for a partner as well to do show work and things like that. So we got together. And yeah, we've been dancing together for about two and a half years now. Yeah. So yeah. Amazing. And then um, how do you then migrate from that to then cruise ships? We first started with P&O about two years ago, I think. Um, it was through a mutual friend of ours. Um, she received an email looking for couples, and we thought, oh, why not? Because we'd done lots of other events in London before, but we'd not actually worked together on a cruise ship before. So we applied, and Here we we've are. been working with p and I kind of told Honor how much fun being at sea was after doing it for a long time. I said, let's go and do it. And it's really nice, because we get to come and do... We're not on board for a long time, so it's really nice with just mixing up our diary with all the teaching and the events that we do in London. So it's nice to come away for like one cruise at a time or two cruises. So it's really, it works really well for us, so we thoroughly enjoy it. But you are great. I mean, I was watching last night the Black Tie Ball. They're, they're just lovely, the guests, and they really enjoy it. And you are so approachable as well. You like, use, use answer questions, and it you make people feel easy about it, even if you're not doing a good job, or even if you want to be the best that you can. You just make them feel really comfortable, and that's nice. That's hard to have. So. Yeah, I mean, 100%. We always go in at the beginning of the cruise saying to people, please don't be worried if you've never danced before. Obviously, some people have, and that's great as well, but we always gear our classes towards complete beginners. And even if you have danced before, we've had people come to us after their cruises who are our sort of experienced dancers and say, oh, I, that was actually much clearer, or I've learned something different to what I've learned at home. So it's, everybody can take something away from it. Now, uh, what happens if, it quite often happens on cruising, um, you and your partner, or whoever you're traveling with, open the horizon, and you look through it, and they go, oh, I love a quiz, and they go, I kind of want to dance. What happens if there's someone that doesn't have a partner but wants to come to the lessons? Yeah, so we always uh, say, even if you don't have a dance partner, come on down. If there's an, another guest who doesn't have a partner, obviously we'll partner you up. Or Honor and I will do our very best. There's sometimes I'm jumping between seven or eight different ladies just practicing. <laughs> so I try my very best to make sure that everybody gets an opportunity to dance. He says it like it's a bad thing. I think he loves it. Really. Oh, yeah, I do love it. Yeah, yeah. You get to meet lots of lovely people, and the ladies appreciate that they get to have In a dance. In demand. So. <laughs> And then, obviously, um, each day they learn the chance to learn a different dance, uh, morning and afternoon. Yeah. And then, how does the balls work in the evening, the dance dates? Basically, we're there to host the ballroom. So, um, where they're playing music, normally we have two sets in an evening, unless it's black tie. So, it's normally 7.45 to 8.30. It's a pre-dinner set. And then we are back for two hours from 9.30. So, we are there playing all types of music, Latin American ballroom, sequence dancing, old time dancing, we're quite open to requests as well. So we always say to people, if you've got something specific that you'd like to dance to, don't be afraid to come and ask us. Yeah. And yeah, so we just play, play music all night. For if people. we have it, we will play it for you. It's your dance floor, it's your cruise. We want to see you up dancing and having fun. That's the main thing. So. Correct. Now, uh, with that, obviously some people do find it a little bit harder working in group situations and learning stuff like that. So what happens if there's those people that really want to learn to dance? but are a little bit shy to sort of be in the group situations. Is there anything that you can do for them? Yeah, 100%. We also offer private tuition on the ship as well. Um, the good thing about that is, as you say, if you're a little bit shy to, even if you have danced before, to dance in an exposed group environment, um, then you can have us one-to-one. -one, and we can also just book it for you as and when you're available on the ship. So it can be on port days, it can be on sea days, and we just find a venue around the ship that's free, and you can come and have a lesson with us. And either. we're very, very nice and very patient. <laughs> we want to have you dancing. Now, yeah, you can either have, sorry, half an hour or an hour. Oh, amazing. Um, and with that, obviously, we touched on the beginners. What happens if there are people that would class themselves intermediate or expert, but just want, again, the private sort of class? Would you be able to look after people that are more experienced further down the line? Yeah, 100%. We're both fully qualified IDTA Borum and Latin instructors. So we've had a huge variety of passengers over the ships that we've done. So we do get complete beginners that go, oh, I really love the waltz, but I'm struggling. Or mm. you get someone that goes, I'm taking my medals next week yeah. and I need help tweaking my advanced routine yeah. technically. Or you c we teach wedding dance couples as well. Oh. So if you happen to be on board and you're getting married, Oh, no, I brought oh. up weddings again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Then we choreograph first dances for people as well, so yes. all sorts. That's a really... I've never thought of that idea, but that is amazing because we often get people, especially um, renewing vows and all mm. sorts of stuff on board. <sighs> so if you are thinking of renewing a vow or things like that, you can then come down, learn that special dance, surprise the person that you're with. <laughs> you could do dirty dancing with a lift. I mean, you could. You, you could, could, you could. Yeah. Why not? I mean, we, that, we, that, could try, we could teach you that. I mean, Should we that, try it now? <laughs> No. 
that there are things that I'm willing to try on TV, there are things I'm willing to try off TV. <laughs> that is one that falls in both categories. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was good, but, but, but could we learn something right now, though, do you think? Could we, cause that we, a basic we, step of something that we could quickly take to the floor, show off our move. Mm. Let's but, um, maybe a bit of salsa? Oh, yeah, why not? Salsa. salsa? Okay. Ooh, come Let's on. do a basic Ooh. salsa. Come on. Come on. Okay. Salsa, you don't have to pair up with someone. You can yeah. do it. Yeah. We can do it on can your own. own. Yeah. Why don't we pair up with we one of... We could dance with you. Oh, say. yes. Yeah. Sold. All right. All right. So, gentlemen so, on this side, let's shuffle this a little bit. Oh, it's getting real now. Oh, come on. The come table's on. being so hard. Ladies on the same oh, side as honour. Oh, okay. So, gentlemen, we're going to start with the left leg. We're going to rock forward. We're going to step the foot in place, and then we close our feet together. Yeah. So, we have one, two, three, and then we hold. Now we're going to go back on the right foot. Rock back on the right foot, step in place, close and hold. Lovely. Easy peasy, basic step. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. If you're feeling fancy, side to side. Side and close. Oh, lovely. Side and close. Bit of shimmy. One, two, three. I've oh, got yeah. nothing to shimmy. <laughs> Look at you, your salsa dancers already. Amazing. Easy peasy. It's, as simple as that. It's literally as yeah, simple as that. A, easy like. About 20 seconds. That was about 20 seconds. And it's fitting as well, isn't it? See, you could get a Fitbit, do a salsa, and work out how much you've like, lost Definitely. weight with it. See? And then make yourself a necklace as a reward. <laughs> as a reward. They'll say, oh, I've got my day planned down to a tea, Amazing. I tell you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. So I, I know we're going to go to the office now. We're going to work on that. Practice for salsa. We're going to dance to J-Lo. <laughs> yep. yeah, you course. can be in our demonstration at the back if we you can. Like. Dropping in demonstration. Now, uh, Unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to bring the demonstration the other day. It was uh, meant to be yesterday mm. due to just the rockiness of the ship. And we, we had a chat. And we said it was, there was absolutely no point in trying to get you to do it tomorrow night where you couldn't do it to the best of your ability. Because if we were going to offer a professional dance demonstration that you could offer, we want you to not only be comfortable, safe, but also for the guests like yourselves to actually be able to enjoy it. Because otherwise, you're only going to be able to offer half of what you really want to. So. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're able to move it to another night, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. We have two demonstrations for you. So just because we couldn't do it last night, we'll, you'll definitely still see both. It's just, as I said at the time, we've got lifts and things like that in it, which were potentially dangerous if, you know, the ship happened to do something at a certain point. And as you say, we just want to give 100% to everybody. So we've got one uh, Latin American demonstration, which is two dances, a Paso Doble and a Jive. And then our next one on another, na uh, another night will be our ballroom demonstration. Amazing. So we'll sit down, we'll work that one out. We will let you know through the Horizon paper and we'll even put it in our announcement and let them all know what through that way. Oh, yes. So one more time before we go, dance classes, when are they and when can they practice straight down at the camera? Okay, so you can come see us every sea day at 10 o'clock in the morning and 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And we look at two different dances each day, one Latin, one ballroom. So you've got a nice variety of stuff to learn for the cruise. And private lessons, as I said, if you are interested in having one, just grab us either in class or if you see us around the ship and we can book a time in for you that's most convenient. Oh, thank you very much, Edna. And that has been great. Well done for doing TV. Audience members, round of applause. Thank you very Thank much. You. Well done. So they're getting louder. Look, like people are coming in and coming in. It's like we've started a fashion, isn't Thank it? Thank you, everyone. I think it's because there's a movie on after us. There is. In fact, we'll do it quickly. Hold <laughs> on. Get my glasses on. I'll tell you what's coming on. Uh, we've also got a... Oh, no, it's our guest speakers next. We've got a guest speaker. Got oh, guest we speaker. have. We've got all right. sorts. Because today is Easter Saturday, isn't it? Easter Saturday. So imagine this is going out at 2.30. Okay, so right now the football's on. Liverpool is losing 1-0 if you haven't watched it yet. Sorry. Um, we've got the knit and natter at 2.30. We've got the 2 o'clock... 2.30, keep going, Abby. Lime dancing at 3.15, classical concert at 3.15, Macmillan this afternoon, Macmillan afternoon tea, it's great, it's really good, great cause, we've raised over something like 2 million now from Pino Cruises, so go along to that, get a cupcake, uh, keep going, Abby, bingo, table tennis, Pilates, live premiership football, I need to breathe, um, Club Havana, oh, what we've got tonight, I know we need to finish. Oh yeah, so um, <sighs> it's the first of our Headliners Theatre Company show. Uh, they are performing at Paradise City. Now, with Paradise City, we obviously need to make people aware. Paradise City, as you can imagine, is a rock show. So, that means expect loud rock music. So we often get guests that go there and go, whoa, that was loud. No one listens to rock music in the same way they listen to classical. We are turning <laughs> the volume up to 11 and we're going to rock out with Paradise City. It's a love story. It's all sorts. It's a band trying to find 
Oh, it's amazing. It's funny as well. It's great. It is a great show. And they've even built an extra bit of the stage that comes out into the audience. So that way you get to be in a proper rock arena. So that's Paradise City. And then what have we got down here? Down here we have got comedian The Welsh Dragon. And The Welsh Dragon is back, Mr Lloyd Davies. Indeed. With, again, we saw him yesterday, completely different show. Mm-hmm but just the same sort of laughs with this venture song will happen today. Oh, yes. And, and we've got Decades Party tonight at 9.30 with the entertainment team. Now, come along for that at 9.30. It's dead good. It gets really busy, doesn't it? It does. Great, though. We have a dance. We have a sing. Entertainment team are there. You can have a dance. Family friendly. And uh, I really enjoy Decades Night. I just have such a laugh. So you do. The entertainment yeah. team will be dressing up if you've got anything that you can dress up in with to match I've a really decade. A I think that'd be quite easy. Then mm. that way, come along, join in with the party. Obviously, um, Tell this me. Our first one before land, land ahoy. So, um, yes, tomorrow we'll be at land, and then the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and then we're gonna turn around and head towards Lisbon where we can yes. have custard tarts. I love Lisbon, though, it's my favorite port. I've you. been there hundreds of times. So, um, yeah. lots going on. Obviously, lots. check your horizon. We'll, next time you'll see Abby and myself, we'll be on our way back after you will all be. Nice and golden brown, I'm sure, yeah. with uh, the Canary Islands. It's looking like so far good weather going there. With 20 oh. degrees tomorrow, that is that is that is factor 50 for me, I tell you, factor 50. So with that, lots going on from the ports. We've got our party sailaways, we've got live music sailaways, we've got all sorts. So come up, enjoy everything that we've got on offer. Okay. Loads of shows, we've got a load of new acts joining us as well throughout the islands. Mm-hmm. So that way, make the most of everything Ventura has to offer. In fact, while well, you've just said that, I'll be really quick because I'm really fast. We've got... A Dell, we've got Claire Maiden, we've got the Runaround Kids have been on, Peter Piper, we've got more headliner shows, we have got Jenna Lee James, we have got Tom Bins, who is great, we have also got Paul Emmanuel, and... More headliner shows. Mm, more headliner shows. Oh, bootleg McCartney. you got loads. It's just so much. There's just so much to do. As we always say, check your Horizon paper. That will give you the most up-to-date information about every single act and everything that's going on. Because the last thing we want you to do is miss anything that goes on board Ventura. So, until we see you next time, for myself, Alex, your entertainment manager, and... Your assistant entertainment manager, Abby. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to each and every one of you and having you turn us on in your cabin. We'll see you around. Audience, goodbye for now. Bye. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, wavy when I turn it on. All through my city, all through my home. We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that